Buongiorno. <laughs> Good morning to my students and my family members who are going on the Italy trip. Um, so at this point, uh, it is about mm, almost eight o'clock in the morning here in Sorrento. And I want to talk to you about uh, a couple things for this first video today. The first is uh, talking about the size of European hotel rooms versus American hotel rooms, and then talking about a little bit about uh, how to deal with adapters to power. So first off, let me show you the room. This is a very typical European hotel room. So here's the entrance over here. It's a small room, a little desk. Here's my, my uh, suitcase and a bed. This is a tile floor. I do have a balcony, which I'll show you in a minute. A closet, which is nice, a little dresser and a very small bathroom, which has a sink, a bidet, which I won't get into that right now. You can talk to your parents about what a bidet is, <clears throat> and a toilet, and a shower. And the shower is very small. You need to be aware of that. So <clears throat> I guess the whole point of this is, and obviously these rooms are set up for either sleeping two or sleeping um, a couple together or these actually break apart as two different beds so yeah it's it's tiny you should be aware of that uh, let me show you real quick the, the balcony it's really pretty so there's the mountains in Sorrento I happen to be right on the the main thoroughfare so it's a little bit loud out here but here we go some beautiful views and another view of the hotel room from this direction. Now, while I'm closing the store, let's talk about power for a minute. Obviously, you guys are going to be wanting to bring a bunch of stuff that you want to power. Laptops, phones are probably the biggest thing. So let me show you what I have over here. So I have an adapter. Here's one right here. Um, it plugs a regular plug, you know, an American plug into a wide two prong and that's what's used over in here in Italy. So most laptops and most uh, phones have a converter built right into their charger so it will change the currency over from American currency to European currency. So you don't need anything else other than the adapter, there's the adapter going into the wall, plugging into my, my laptop over to my laptop. So what I've been doing is I do that, and then I've been charging the devices from my laptop so I can charge two things at the same time. In this case, I'm charging my phone at night, and then I'm actually charging my portable charger at night as well. So that way I can, I can bring this when I'm going touring, and I never have an issue with regards to um, you know, holding a charge during the course of the day. I will also say to you that those of you ladies that are going to be using hair dryers, <clears throat> So they do have a hair dryer in this particular hotel. I don't know how powerful it is. And they do have a special adapter down here for hair dryers. The one thing I would say to you guys is you definitely want to consider not bringing a hair dryer because if you try to use just this with a hair dryer, you'll burn it out. <clears throat> um, that requires a ton of it. The, the American hair dryers require a ton of power. <clears throat> so something for you to consider is getting, if you're going to use a hair dryer, you may want to talk to um, your parents or you may want to find out about getting not just this, but some kind of an actual voltage converter <clears throat> that would convert your hair dryer properly. But if you're going to be dealing with things like laptops or your phones, all you need is the, adap the adapter <clears throat> and um, your power source and you're good to go. So that's a little tour of what a typical European hotel looks like. Now, this is an older hotel that we're at, um, and the one in Rome will be um, much more contemporary, and, and um, I'll show you that, obviously, when we get to Rome. But anyway, today I'm gonna be heading to the Amalfi Coast, and so um, hopefully, as this video continues, video series continues, you'll get a chance to see that coming up soon. So take care, have a great day, and we'll see you soon, bye-bye.